Hello, Cocoa Talkers. This is John Linville, um, host of, one of the hosts of the Cocoa Crew podcast and a member of the Cocoa community, etc., etc., etc. I'm reaching out to you with what um, hopefully amounts to a little, uh, well, call for peace. <laughs> um, so there's been a lot of com- conflict in the community lately, a lot of drama at least, uh, people getting angry at each other over, you know, perceptions, opinions, whatever. And I seem to have taken a lot of the heat somehow for that. Uh, and, um, you know, people um, making crazy accusations, it seems like, and uh, taking uh, a lot of offense at a little joking around and that sort of thing. So I thought I'd send this out. It's a little, mostly, uh, at least starting as a reminder that, you know, I'm a human person, I've got thoughts and opinions and feelings and whatever else um and so anyway uh some of you know me uh, at least you know my voice if you've been listening to the podcast like uh, so many people do um if you're not one of our our podcast listeners um you probably if you're a, solely a coco talk viewer viewer uh you might not know me uh, because i don't appear on coco talk um very often, and that's uh, for a variety of reasons, and I mean, I'm sure you know Coco Talk uh, episodes are notoriously a bit long and rambling, even longer than our episodes, <laughs> um, and you know, since uh, the, the uh, topic has been broached on your last episode, to be honest, I am a little uncomfortable uh, with the style of humor on the show. Um, it's, um, well, a lot of it's a lot of repeating the same old, mostly inside jokes, but a lot of them are kind of just corny or whatever, so I don't want to be seen on there going, eh, <laughs> when people are making jokes. And sometimes, um, whether you want to admit it or not, your show does get a little raunchy from time to time. And, um, you know, so, in you know, forgive me, I just, I don't really want to be a part of, uh, part of, uh, that style of humor. Um, on top of that, you have, uh, regular, uh, panelists who are, well, they have well-known um, biases against me, um, and yeah, there's more than one. And uh, if you can't think of their names, well, <laughs> I don't think you've been watching. Um, but uh, anyway, let's just say, like I said, there are panelists on there, and when they're on, I just don't even consider coming on. Um, no, I don't go on that on go on your show that often anyway, for some of the reasons I already stated. But whatever. I don't hate your show. I don't have any ill will against your show. Um, you know, it's your show. It's different than my show. Um, you know, vive la difference or whatever. So, whatever. Um, now, last week, here uh, uh, for posterity, we're talking about Coco Talk episode 110, uh, available on YouTube and whatever their other outlets are. Um, there were a couple of unusual segments. Um, now, one that I, that I thought was really good, you had a dirty laundry segment, as uh, Stevie called it. Um, there was a lot of introspection, uh, some um, even some apologies or whatever, or some commitments to, or affirmations to behave a little differently. You know, uh, I don't necessarily think you hit every point, but I think it was good to see you guys go through some of that, and he did it in a very public and open way, which is admirable. And I really do hope that that rebounds positively to your show. I don't know what else to say, but I, I do think that was good. Now, a little later, you had a competition segment. Not, um, I, I, I'm not going to give that one the thumbs up. Uh, so I think it was, whether deliberately or not, I think it was one-sided. I think it was based on an inaccurate representation of the document that Boise had written. Um... I really think it missed the point. You could tell from the people speaking, they had all these assumptions based on, well, just incorrect uh, interpretations of what's been written, as, as far as I can see. I mean, nobody nobody is expressing a will to control anyone in the hobby. Certainly not me, not Boise, not even the evil Mark Marlett. <laughs> um... Any uh, any of these interpretations that there's somebody saying you need to ask permission for Cloud Nine or whatever, well, 
it, I'm not going to say that you're absolutely wrong. I mean, it's your opinion. You're basing it on your own history or whatever. But whatever you're basing it on is something outside the uh, four corners of the document. And sort of a term from from legal analysis out there. It just means, you know, imagine the document. <laughs> it's got four corners and it's got writing in the middle. And that's where the writing lies is the four corners. And anyway, that's not what he wrote. Now, he may think that. I don't believe he does. You may believe he does. That's fine. But it's not what he said. Um, anyway, I think a lot of you are wrong. But that's okay. I'm just, you guys probably think, well, it's pretty obvious you guys think I'm wrong. I'm not even sure you know what I think, but I'm pretty sure you think I'm wrong. <laughs> um, uh, you guys think I'm the Dark Lord of the Cocoa Realm or something like that. Or Boise he is, or we both are. Maybe we're like Sidious and Vader. Well, who knows? Um, anyway, fine. Okay, you guys have had your say. Um, you still seem to be walking around with a little bit of a chip in your shoulder on, uh, on some Facebook groups and whatever. I hope that's going to pass. Um, tried to joke around a little bit yesterday and it seemed to make some of you madder than ever. Um, you know, if you've lost your sense of humor over the whole thing, I definitely think you need to reevaluate. Um, after all, we all share the same hobby. Um, we're all just here trying to have, we're all 50 year old men sitting around trying to have fun with a 30 year old computer designed for children. If that's not goofy and silly in the first place, I don't know what is. Um, anyway, so some of us have opinions about what people should or shouldn't be doing, not can and can't do, but maybe should or shouldn't. This is, this, maybe that's just a too subtle a distinction for some, but some of us think things are happening that don't that shouldn't happen, or th things aren't happening that should. Fine. Our opinions don't bind you. Your opinions don't bind us. We disagree. Okay, shake it off. Um. Now I have heard that. Uh, so, so I mean, so Coco Talk has a, like a little home operating base, <laughs> um, different from uh, the Coco mailing list. It's not the mailing list. It's not Facebook. Uh, they have a, a chat server called Discord. Um, I didn't know much about it until they brought it out. Apparently it's still got some roots in gaming or whatever. I guess that's not a surprise. Um, but anyway, they maintain their chat server. And not only do they chat in text, but they talk to each other a lot in voice. And uh, I don't know what's said in the voice. The, the text chats, I can go and read them. But the voice ones are, well, they're not recorded. Um, and I'm not sure what's been said in there. I do know... It must be pretty bad because uh, some of the Coco Talk regulars have actually reached out to me and some of the other Coco Crew hosts and said, whatever you hear, I'm not part of it. Whatever you hear, I'm sorry. We still like you. I still like you. <laughs> I was like, wow, what are you guys doing? What, what kind of talks are going over there? So hopefully nobody's plotting our deaths or whatever, but um clearly somebody's mad and saying a lot about it and some other people are being made uncomfortable about it um that should be mostly your concern but you know uh, i, I want to see the community be healthy so especially if i'm one of the ones being criticized or demonized or whatever i'm gonna offer this <laughs> avoid demonizing folks or um, quote, otherizing, um, you know, okay, I'm not your buddy, uh, I'm not on Coco Talk with you four hours every Saturday, um, maybe we get along politically or not, who knows, um, maybe, <laughs> maybe you love OS9 and I'm not into it, maybe you hate the MC10 and I like it, whatever, we're all just here doing the same goofy stuff, so let's just avoid otherizing and demonizing each other, there's really no point in it. Um, I would encourage you all to reach beyond your click. Okay, it's easy to end up in little cliques of groups and people that hang out and talk. And, you know, it's normal and it's f perfectly fine to have friends or whatever. Um, but, you know, sometimes it goes too far. So <laughs> consider reaching out. Go, go beyond your click. Look for other sources of, in of information. See what other people are doing. It might enjoy your um, understanding of the hobby or your enjoyment of the hobby. Let's hope, right? Um, and no matter what happens, we really don't need any more of these theatrical exits. Oh my God, I'm so upset. People are not, are not uh, uh, being nice to each other or whatever. Uh, I am leaving. Woo. 
well, fine. Okay, if you want to leave, leave. We don't really need your your big drama about how you're leaving and everybody else should too or whatever. That's not helping anyone. Anyway, that's pretty much more or less what I wanted to say. Um, just a reminder, we don't all have to be friends. Um, even uh, me and, uh, well, some of those uh, Coco Talk panelists with the biases against me uh, have managed to coexist in the hobby for 20 or 25 years. Um, so, you know, if you don't like me, uh, you don't like them, you don't like anybody, that's fine. You know, all you need, the only barrier for entry is a Coco, and even that could be a, an emulator. <laughs> so, um, you know, be part of the hobby. You don't have to demonize anyone. You don't have to be mad at people. If, if the hobby's making you mad, then what are you doing here, man? Go find something else to do. I might suggest poker whatever <laughs> um uh one helpful little hint uh helps me a lot uh, in just to get through life is uh, just avoid attributing anyone's actions to malice um especially anything that can be attributed to incompetence <laughs> it's usually safer to, to attribute it to incompetence or you know ignorance in a lack of knowledge sort of way um most people are not out to get you Mo most people don't spend that much time thinking about you, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, there's really no reason to, to think that people are out to get you or that we're trying to tear you down or whatever. That's just crazy. So, um, so let's, let's all just, you know, like I said, we don't have to be friends. We don't have to sit around a fire and sing Kumbaya or whatever. But, you know, just let each other pass and don't be talking trash about what what, uh, <laughs> what people are wearing or, or the equivalent. You know, that's, that's just dumb. So, be good to one another. Hey, and, you know, hey, you got your Go-Go 3 yet? <laughs>